guys it's Ozzy Grimm with the gamers Grimm and we got another Starfield ship build for you today today we of course are going over the long strider uh, I really enjoyed making this ship I think I enjoy making all the ships but this was an exceptionally fun ship it's a just about a vanilla build with the a little bit of a a little bit of a snapping technique on the front to give it a nice silhouette. Um, but other than that, it is a completely vanilla build. Uh, and it is a Class B ship armed with a lot of missile batteries, as you guys saw in the uh, lead-up here in the video. Um, not much in the way of cargo. That's because I really wanted to use these engines. They sound really cool. They feel really cool. They just don't give you a lot in the way of mass but they do give you quite a bit of speed so there is that trade-off um I, other than that it is a class b ship uh so we'll just do a quick tour you guys got to see the preview i've been really working on my editing skills i hope they're getting better as time goes on and uh make this more fun and entertaining for you guys when we reveal a ship but uh, this is the long strider guys it is a fun ship and it looks really sleek and is a lot of fun to fly in combat. Um, so there are the profiles and uh, we'll go in and look at the hab layout real quick. It's got a really simple hab layout. Uh, there's just not enough room in a ship this size to put a lot of habs, but uh, the people who like these kinds of ships, you don't really care for habs. So 
This is for you, all my Class B and Class A dogfighters. This is a ship for you. So when we come in here, um, we'll come right up uh, here in the middle into a companionway. We'll have a workshop back here. Always good to have a workshop in your ship. Uh, of course, Sarah's going to be in the way. Get out of the way, Sarah. I can't get, I can't get through. I can't get through. Okay, I can go that way. Um, but then I have a, I think this is an all-in-one berth, or it might be a living quarters. I can't remember. We'll see when we get into the shipbuilder. And then, of course, we have the cockpit here. And I do believe, isn't there another? Yeah, there's another hab up top, if I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. I built this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I've got quite a few uh, ship builds ready to, to go all at once, thankfully, because there's been some ship bugs. So... Uh, but up here we have, uh, I believe, a living quarters or an all-in-one berth. Again, we'll find out when we get into the uh, into the shipbuilder. So, uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. There's just uh, just the three habs, uh, which is really all you need, and a companionway. And then we go into the cockpit. Uh, so we will go ahead and uh, move over to the shipbuilder, and uh, we'll show you how to make this wonderful ship for yourselves. All right, guys, we are back in the shipbuilder, and I have the long strider pulled apart down to its uh, basic components. And uh, we'll go over the uh, basic layout that you'll need. Fairly simple. If you see, we just have the three halves here. Uh, there's three two by ones. I'm using Nova Galactic in this build. I just like Nova Galactic halves. And uh, in the middle, you have a Nova Galactic storeroom. And uh, you will lay them out just like you see here. Um, and the uh, NG6 landing bay will go up into your storeroom. And uh, in front of that, we will attach the first of two of our uh, landing gears, which will be the Nova Galactic NG20 landing gears. The other one is back here. It will snap here in a moment uh, when we put our grav drive and reactor on. Um, so that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and take our 104 DS mag inertial reactor from Dogstar, and it goes right behind that top hab. And then you will take your RD3000 beta grav drive, and you will attach it just like that. Um, and we'll go ahead and do the cargo, because there's really not a lot of cargo on this ship. Um, so we do have two of these Polo 2020 cargo holds that go underneath the uh, the hab you see there, just in front of the NG20 landing gear that you see there. And then we have a couple of 200 CM shielded cargo holds for all you uh, smugglers out there so that you can smuggle some goods. And that is how that is pretty much it for your cargo. Um, we'll go ahead and throw our shield on top here. Of course, it is a Class B ship, so we do get to use the Vanguard Bulwark Shield, and then I have a Connect Pro Docker top that can go here. Um, you could probably put a Docker on the underside. No, probably not. I don't think you have enough room. There's a, not very really many snap points left on this ship when we get done. Um, so we'll go ahead and attach the cockpit. We're going to be using the Magellan C2X cockpit from Nova Galactic. And it goes right in the front, like you see, just like that. Um, and so, also, I believe uh, these go right along the sides, like you see here. These are some Nova cowling, and here's our gas tanks. Um, they go right across the front, of, or the sides of that hab that you see there. So, starting at the companionway, I'm going to put your Nova cowling there, and then you're going to put your gas tank in between those two Nova Cowlings. And then, of course, we do have the uh, Nova Cowling that goes on top. And this is where uh, it's the least vanilla. You can't snap it like this, but if you change it, then snap it in place and then swap it around, it will clip just like you see there. So moving back, we will go start with the wings setup. The, this is why I wanted to do this. I really wanted to use these Hercules DT-160 engines from Panopus. They, Panopes or whatever it is. I really love the way these uh, engines sound and the way that they look. But they can be a bit unforgiving with their snap points because they only have 
the one snap point. And as you can see, I have devised a pretty wacky way of uh, using all of the different winglets to set them up and give myself some weapon mounts. So we'll start with the under-mounted uh, engine mounts that you see here. Um, I have these Nova Galactic, Nova Galactic cowlings here, and then they snap to a Demos Wing A, which will allow you to snap your Hercules engine to that. And they will go, I believe, just like so. This will butt right up against your beta, uh, against your grav drive on this side, and then you will have a mirrored setup on this side, on the port side, and it will create this really cool silhouette that you see here in the back. And then we have the upper wings, which uh, are also Nova Galactic. We have one, two, three of those Nova Galactic cowlings attached to and sort of a decorative Demos wing where we can mount all of our missiles. And they are set up just like you see there, and they will go uh, just like you see here they attach to this hab here and uh, kind of hide your uh, reactor on top um, and that is of course mirrored over here with the uh, three uh, nova galactic uh, wings or nova galactic cowlings and then a demos wing a and it will go along this side here and it creates this really really beautiful uh, engine silhouette here in the back that i really really enjoy and of course we do have just a single Nova cowling piece that is inverted like you see here. I debated on whether or not I wanted to put uh, these uh, Demos spines uh, like this, and I still honestly cannot decide whether or not I like that or I don't. So alternatively, what I was doing before I did that was I was taking my shield and putting it back here, but simultaneously, you can just leave it bare if you want. I think it looks good both ways, in, in my opinion. So, you know, this back part is the one part that I could never really decide which one looked best. And uh, I think you guys can decide for yourself whether you want the spoiler or you just want that nice, smooth transition to the back. Or you could hypothetically just flip that back over and stick it like that if you really wanted to. Uh, this is the one place that I I don't know which looks best. I can't decide. They all look good to me, um, but I ultimately settled on the spoiler because uh, I'm kind of old and I like old sports cars, so spoilers are always awesome. And of course, here at the end, we have two Nova Galactic braking engines that sort of sit just in front of that so that we can maintain the look of the ship. And uh, they go just like you see there. And that is the Long Strider, guys. It is not a difficult build. Uh, I think what really makes it such a good-looking ship is the way that I've got these engines arranged here in the back. And uh, it took me a little while to tweak it and figure out how to get these engines to look really, really good in the way that they do. Um, but that was really what I wanted to do with this build, was to take these Hercules DT-160 engines and uh, mount them in such a way that they just looked really interesting. All the other builds seemed to tuck them under something or hide them or use them snap together. And, and they're such beautiful engines and they have such a wonderful sound when you, when you boost that I, I kind of wanted to put them on display. And uh, I think I managed to do that. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the Long Strider. And uh, of course, as always, I will eventually link a uh, parts list down in the comment section for you guys if you want to know exactly what the parts are and where you can get them. Uh, this is mostly a Nova Galactic build, so you will probably be spending the majority of your time in the Soul system, and uh, there's a couple of Demos pieces that are standard at any uh, starport, so you should be fine. But I will go ahead and link the uh, parts list anyway for the Long Strider so that you guys out there can build it whenever you want. But thanks for coming along, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and we will see you next time on the Gamer's Grim.